Hello everyone and welcome to 9 Inch Charge. Today I'm going to show you a very quick and very easy way of making swamp or boggy type bases for your miniatures that doesn't use any resin or any water effects but still maintains that look about it. First off you'll need your base and what I've got here is a bit of cork that I've bought off of eBay, just cork sheet. It's only a couple mils thick and what that will do is when I just break it off and stick it to the base it will give us a little bit of a raised area, um, some ground that raises out above the, the water of the, of the swamp. So here I am just applying a bit of super glue and then I'll just stick those down just kind of wherever really, it doesn't really matter so long as there's enough space in between them for the water to flow. There we go. There we are. So after we've done this, I want to add a bit of texture to that because although it does have some texture, the base itself is quite smooth. So what I've got here is some technical sterling mud. Um, we're not going to be using these technical paints for the colours, we're going to be using them for the texture. So here you can see I'm just put, applying that all over the base. Just getting all the nooks and crannies. Once that's done, I've got some Martian Iron Crust, which is a similar texture, but as you'll see, this is much thicker. It's almost a bit kind of putty-ish, and what that allows you to do is just build up another raised area. So there's kind of two ways you can do this. I have done some bases where I've only used the Iron Crust, and I've done some bases where I've used a combination of the cork and the Iron Crust, but I think... You know, a pot of iron crust is quite expensive compared to the cork. You get loads and loads of cork. So I try and use the iron crust more sparingly if I can. Okay, so once that is done and it's just all touched up, I'm going to add another, another texture to the base. The next texture that I'm going to add is a layer of flock. I just picked this up in Antics. It costs £1.50. Um, it's quite readily available. Also, you can use, if you want, mixed herbs are actually quite a good option for this. Now, probably the best way to apply this to your base is to mix it with PVA glue or PVA glue and a little bit of water. Um, for time's sake, because I want to do these quite quickly and because my super glue is very watery, I just splashed a bit of super glue on and then sprinkled it from a height. Um, I think, although it does make a little bit of a mess, it is important just to sprinkle it rather than like chuck it on because otherwise you will get too much. I've also got this little spike that I found in the dryad box so I'm just going to plonk him down in the middle so he's kind of sticking up out of where the water will be. There he is. Okay, so that's all dry now and I've base coated it just with a with a white spray and now I'm going to add some wildwood contrast to the bits of tree and just kind of over half of the base, just the raised areas and I'm going to leave some other bits exposed because I want to do a wet blend and mix in my second contrast colour later on which will be Creed Camo. So here you can see I'm just slapping it on, I'm not being too precious about it and then in I come with the Creed camo and that just gives it a really a really nice greeny browny swampy kind of transition to it it doesn't look too uniform and it adds a lot of depth to it actually okay and lastly I'm just going to apply a bit of athematic blue to our spike on the top just one layer make him look a bit magical and glowy once that's done, we're ready to start doing the water of the swamp. And the first thing to do is to put a layer of Cavalite Green in all of the shallow areas, not the raised areas, we just painted with the contrast. And this is going to form the base colour for our, for our water. Um, it's a really nice deep turquoise and it looks, it does look like water and it looks a bit kind of magical. But once you've done the first layer, you'll find that it doesn't have a lot of depth, depth to it. So what I've done is I've gone back over the top and I've added in um, a green ink over the top. Um, this is a model colour ink, but you know any any other inks are fine. 
and you probably could get away with a with a Games Workshop wash as well, just to add a bit a bit more depth to the water. Next, I want to add a bit of foliage, and I found these really long tufts or strings of grass in Antics. It cost me a fiver for a whole bundle of them, and you can kind of cut them up to how you want, and then just have them any length. I like them because they add quite a lot of height to the to the model, and um, you know I quite like to have that building up different levels of height. But what you can do is equally, you can buy pre-made tufts, Games Workshop sell them, you can get them in Antics, um, Army Painter, lots of companies do them. And you can you can stick those on yourself. They come ready ready to stick down. Um, and lastly, just now that the uh, the ink has dried, I want to add a layer of Art Coat Technical. Um, this is essentially a gloss varnish. So what this will do what is it will make that water um, look really shiny and it will make it look wet. So this is what we're doing instead of using a resin or water effects paint that then we'll have to mix up and will take ages to dry. This is kind of the quick cheat, uh, cheat step because what we've done essentially is we've made the water kind of look a bit kind of bobbly and a bit earthy using the texture paints. Then we've given it that depth with the washes and now we're giving it a bit of shine. And once that's done, all there is left to do is to just let it dry and paint the rim. And then I will add that base to the other ones that I've been doing for my new project, which is going to be Silverness. So here it is alongside all the other bases that I've made. Really quick, really simple. I'd encourage you to give it a go. I think, you know, contrast paint and a couple washes and jobs are good, really. Um, as ever, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nine Inch Charge. Um, please throw this video a like and a subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate that, uh, especially if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thank you very much.